guys what's going on. As you can see beside me here, we're here today to talk about Snorlax. And Snorlax, this plush here, funny story about it. Uh, I went into EV Games and I actually had pre-ordered it. And the second that I saw it, I knew I really wanted this particular plush. But when you hear 24 inch, you're like, oh, that's not that big, because you're thinking inches, right? Inches. This plush here is 24 inches, that's a big boy. And well, it's kind of hard to display, but it's worth it if you're really a Snorlax fan. You put it on your bed or on a shelf, and he just sits there and chills like he normally does. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's 24 inches. Boom, he's a big boy. Slap myself in the face with it, that's just great. And look, you can see his teeth too, which is kind of cool. Just thinking and talking about Snorlax here, um, the first time you meet Snorlax is really he's, I think on Route 5, sleeping, and you have to wake him up by getting the polka flute, which is kind of cool. That's a nice, a nice mission for sure. Once you get the polka flute, you wake him up and he gets pretty grumpy and wants to fight you. So then you have to face the Snorlax. And the way to beat him is you just toss out a Pokeball and the issue's fixed. 100% you beat him. Nothing more. And it's kind of funny because he puts himself to sleep, throw the Pokeball, and then you catch him. Snorlax dates all the way back to Generation 1. And he is a normal type Pokemon. In Generation 1 and 2, Snorlax is usually blocking the way and you have to go grab the Poke Flute like I said, or there's another one that you have to program to be a Poke Flute that will kind of wake him up. Snorlax, if you couldn't already tell, is one of the heaviest Pokemon found, or the heaviest normal type. Snorlax literally wakes up to, get this, only eat 900 pounds of food before passing out again. Like, literally gets up, eats literally half more than half his body weight, and then goes back to bed. Ironically, and with good reason, Snorlax has a very strong stomach. Snorlax is not really a picky eater at all. It can eat mux, mux poison, and it can also eat thorny plants. Snorlax, in the newer versions of Pokemon, has a Giga, Gigantamax, Giga, Gigamax, Gigantamax form. Uh, when it Dynamaxes, it grows like a tree out of its stomach because it has all these like rocks and um, like shrubs, seeds in its fur. And then it has to lie down and, and the tree kind of attacks it. It's kind of funny how it works. But yeah, it's known as one of the most powerful Dynamax Pokemon. Snorlax has a lot of weight behind him. He's a thousand pounds and he's actually quite tall, standing at six foot eleven. Now picture that, a beast at six foot eleven coming at you. I can't sneeze, my back hurts too much. Yeah, I don't know if I told you guys in this vlog here, but I don't know what I did, but I hurt my left shoulder in the top, and I've been getting Wang to give me massages and whatnot, but man, it just hurts <laughs> right there. If I were to sneeze, it, I don't know, it's too painful, I just can't do it. Literally every encounter that I come across Snorlax, he's sleeping. I think only once or twice I've caught him in the wild. And catching him in the wild is quite a rare occurrence. So take it as it is. I usually do catch him when he's blocking a path or when I have to wake him up and fight him. Snorlax is loosely based off of a bear. Maybe a panda bear, maybe a polar bear, something of that nature. Because sleeping is kind of like hibernation in a way. Where he sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. It kind of almost is like hibernation. So now let's get to talk about this particular plushie. It's really soft. Uh, the maker is WCT. This cost me $54, $49.99 with my discount card from 2018. So this is actually a very high quality plush. Most plush will start to fray or you'll see like the stitching will come apart. Not on these ones. These ones are actually fairly high quality and I haven't found a flaw in them yet. That's kind of why I really wanted it and I didn't mind paying the money because I know it'll last a long time where other plush will get, the plush will get compact and whatnot and, and stop being plush. This, this boy right here, he stayed in his original shape that I got him in. It's kind of cool. The 
stitching is very well done. I like the little details like his teeth. <laughs> That's one very cool detail. His ears, very soft. One thing I can't stress enough is they make slaw, sloth, oh my goodness. They make very soft plush. And man is he soft. This would be a great addition for like your bed or like a counter or something like that. Maybe on your dresser. Yeah, he's so, so soft. It's very, very nice to the touch. I can't stop, uh, you can't stop petting it really because it's honestly so so soft it's like those blankets some of them i can't remember what it's called microfiber blankets they're super super soft maybe this is microfiber but yeah it's really soft like i said the stitching is very well done they hid the they hid the panels obviously in his bum they hid the panels uh very well the meeting points of all the panels uh, the pads on the feet, it almost seems like it can stand, but it can't. Uh, tested it, it just doesn't. One big knock that I have to get though, or give to this, is it should be plush. His claws are a cheap felt. I guess when they were designing it, that was the case. They should have made it a plush kind of toe. I would have appreciated that more than what it is now, because what it is now is kind of, doesn't really work well. That's fine. Same thing on his uh, hands here. Same sort of thing. It is what it is. Other than that, this is very recognizable. I mean, if you see this in the stores, it's not like one of those derpy knockoffs or a licensed product. Well, this is a licensed product, but there's some really bad licensed products out there that when you see it, it's just like, oh my goodness, that hardly looks like it. Or like the expression is derpy, like derpy to the max derpy. And some of them I've had, uh, like some Captain America or some Iron Man for, made for kids, like three and up, are derpy. The, the expression is just like, why would you even make that? That's an atrocity. This is correct to Pokemon and correct to what it actually should be. It makes it look authentic and it makes it look like you want it in your Poke Room. But anyways, guys, that's about it for now. Like I said, the stitching on this is really, really good. I haven't seen any fray frayering. Goodness. It's too late in that. I haven't seen any fraying or anything of that nature. If you do see one of these or any other type of plush made by WCT, I would recommend to pick them up. I have a Pokemon or a Pokemon, I have a Pikachu one as well. I have seen like Gengars and all those ones too. So if you see them, pick them up. It's well worth the money. And I know sometimes they blow them out at half price. If you can catch them at GameStop or EB Games for half price, by all means do so. Anyways guys, if you like what you saw, definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your boy. I'm out of here. Uh, one other point, sorry, before I let you go. Make sure you catch me on Twitch. Uh, I will be streaming on Twitch now rather than on YouTube. Uh, I hope to become a Twitch partner. That would be nice, really. I, I, I think that once I get going, Twitch will be a better platform to play games on than YouTube. We'll see how it goes. Check me out, follow me, I need 50 followers to go. Other than that, like I said, pick this boy up if you see him. Like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all of that. Take care guys, take it easy. Bye for now.